at her. How amazing she looks in this pink shirt. No doubt she's earned that with some strict lifestyle. And you won't believe what she went through to transform into Barbie. Make sure you stick to the end as we unravel Robbie Margot's diet for Barbie and some pretty unexpected insights not only about her eating habits, but other fascinating factors that played a crucial role in preparing her for this iconic role. Yes, boss! To get that perfect Barbie figure, Margot had to stick to a super strict routine behind the scenes. It's like she took on the ultimate challenge of becoming a real-life plastic doll. Impressive or slightly bizarre? You decide. Oh, so she's all about that strict diet, but she's not jumping on any popular movement. I mean, it's not like she's doing crash diets just to fit into a role. She's all about being healthy all the time. She actually enjoys her food. Now that's a relief. I was starting to imagine her living on nothing but kale and quinoa. Turns out she's not afraid to indulge in a good old burger and beer when she's not in the filming zone. Who can blame her? We all need a treat now and then. And I can totally relate to her not being good at moderation. Who needs that kind of self-control anyway, right? A life of salads and tiny wine sips? Count me out. If I were in her shoes, I'd probably be the same way, enjoying all the deliciousness life has to offer. I find it amusing that even during her breakfast chat with Vogue, she's ordering some fancy sounding dishes like avocado toast, grilled halloumi cheese and Australian style bacon. You know she means business when she asks the waiter to crisp it up. The girl knows what she wants. Then after breakfast, she goes rollerblading and then hits up her favorite ice cream shop, Salt and Straw. Now that's what I call a balanced day. Healthy breakfast, active rollerblading and a sweet treat to top it all off. But apart from the burger and beers, she's following an interesting approach to her diet, that's for sure. So when she's preparing for a roll, she's all about discipline and keeping away from saturated fats and sugary drinks. But man, it's easier said than done. Instead, she focuses on a protein-heavy diet with lots of chicken, tuna, veggies, and green smoothies. I guess that's how she fuels her body to take on those physically demanding roles. But honestly, a diet without the occasional treat sounds like a real challenge. And when she's not preparing for a roll, she knows how to let loose a little. Beers, fries, and burgers, girl, you're speaking our language. But hey, she's not afraid to admit that she goes all in when she indulges. It's either a feast or famine for her. Carrot sticks for three days before bikini shoot? That's some serious dedication. But it sounds like she's got her priorities straight. And did you hear her confession about her not-so-healthy diet? Chocolate and waffles, huh? No, we can't judge. We've all got our guilty pleasures. It's good to know that even Hollywood stars have their cravings for some comfort food. But seriously, it's refreshing to see a celebrity who's honest about their approach to food. None of that pretentious, I eat nothing but air and kale talk here. Plus, with all those diets, she indulged in intense workout sessions. I mean, I can barely make it to the gym twice a week, and here she is sweating it out like there's no tomorrow. Kudos to her dedication. But we all know Barbie's got some serious curves, right? How does she manage to maintain that impossible waist-to-hip ratio? This girl really goes all out for her roles. Do you remember taking a look at how she prepared for the film I, Tanya? She practically lived on that ice skating rink. Leg and core workouts were her best friends during I, Tanya. Gotta get those muscles ready for those skating stunts, right? Four hours a day, five days a week. That's no joke. I get tired just thinking about it. And when it was time to transform into Harley Quinn for Suicide Squad, she ventured into the world of boxing. Knockout moves and intense leg and butt workouts were the name of the game. And let me tell you, her trainer, Andy Hecker, had her doing some serious resistance training to build and lift that butt. But you know what really caught my attention? For Barbie, she chose a unique way to get her cardio in, rollerblading. I mean, who would have thought Barbie's workout would involve rollerblading? But it seems like she fell in love with it, and now she's cruising around on her own rollerblades even in her free time. And get this, she worked out five days a week, and each session was a whopping four hours long. Four hours! I can barely manage 30 minutes on a treadmill without feeling like I'm about to collapse. But all that hard work paid off because her body transformed into exactly what she wanted. Can't argue with the results, I guess. But still, beyond her healthy eating habits and rigorous workout routines, Margot Robbie also has a keen interest in maintaining a good beauty regimen. Now, for the role of Barbie, it wasn't just about working out and eating healthy for Margot. She had to get that stunning tan to bring out the best in her physique. Gotta admit, a tan does wonders, doesn't it? It not only highlights those hard-earned muscles, but also gives that radiant glow for the cameras and press tours. And when it comes to beauty treatments, she got her go-to favorites. One of them is the lymphatic drainage massage. Fancy, huh? 
But it's not just for showbiz. These massages actually help reduce puffiness and move the fluid to cleanse those toxins. So it's a win-win for both health and aesthetics. No wonder she loves getting it before big events. Gotta look top-notch on the red carpet. Skin care, of course, is non-negotiable in her routine. Face masks are her jam, and honestly, who doesn't love a good face mask session? Next is skin hydration. This is especially before a big event or a long day of filming. Makeup can be incredibly drying and damaging, and in order to keep her glowing appearance, Robbie does her best to keep her skin hydrated with skin care and drinking plenty of water. And you know what else is crucial in her skincare routine? A good night's sleep. Beauty sleep is no myth, guys, and Margot swears by it. Can't argue with that. Between appointments, she was taking probiotics and other anti-inflammatory supplements. According to Jasmine Vico, the expert from Fitzrovia, Margot Robbie was all in for the healthy route. Who needs a regular cup of tea when you can have a blend of Vico Skin 369 Supplements Trilogy? Phyto Energy, Skin Frequency, and Gut Vibration. She was also eating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and kefir, all kinds of bitter foods and berries. Oh my, she was all about these tangy, bitter delights. I wonder if she was eating them while striking her best Barbie pose. Now, why all this fuss about probiotics and fermented goodies? Well, Vico says it's all about promoting healing and reducing stress in the body. Moreover, organic milk thistle tea is on the menu too. Apparently, it helps with flushing the liver, which makes the skin better, because it produces more glutathione, which helps with luminosity and brightness. I'm really curious to see how she pulls off this iconic role, as I haven't seen the movie. And anyway, as Margot Robbie mentioned that she loves fries, click on the video you see on the screen to find out about McDonald's unexpected ingredients of their crispy sticks.